Hello, guys. Welcome to Xenoblade Chronicles with the Chronicle Bros. Hello. Yeah. So, yeah. So right now you have to get to the habitat unit. So. Yeah. You can jump if you like. You could handle the fall. How? I don't understand how she's. You can handle. I mean, she is telling you you can handle it. I don't think she's being sarcastic. Yeah, but I don't understand how it's like. Oh, don't go down there. But you can totally handle that drop. I'm like, okay, that's like 50 feet in the air. I feel like. If I was designing this game, I'd say you could totally do it. In fact, you should go do it. And then you would jump off it, and you would die, and you'd be like, ha ha, no, nah, I'm just messing around. Let's just go this way. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I totally tried jumping. <laughs> yeah, she should be leading me, but she's telling me to go places. So I'm like, okay, weird. To be honest, I probably should have just checked to see if I could do that. But I, I guess when I started getting into it, I just sort of went through one path. I mean, also, it's the best way to teach. I mean, the best way to teach is to make the person do it. If she's just, she doesn't want to just hold your hand through the whole thing. True. But I, at the same time, I was like, you know, there's this other, other part of the planet I want to explore. All this lush environments. Let's go check, see what's over there. So, actually, speaking of that, what is this environment that we're in right now? Because there, there, it seems to be, uh, there seems to be some form of civilization here. No, well, it, there's, that's us. That's, like, the people from the habitat ship. They're trying, like, they, you see, um either devices or just sort of stations so that like they can manage like they can control certain areas mm. but yeah right now you're just going through like the, the path to the habitat unit and i mean you can fight some wildlife for experience and stuff along the way uh which i'm going to start doing right now against <laughs> these pigs so um if the bugs are a threat in this game those are gonna be uh <laughs> quite well, a threat too though it's so. funny though because like you know you're shooting this one the other one just completely doesn't mind yes yeah, so jordan i'm pretty sure that qte is a like a first a first hit kind of thing i don't know the these... more i watch this the more i'm pretty sure that that's the case possibly but i mean it's shown up at times beyond just first hit so i'm not even sure because i actually thought that too um but i have no idea i have, I, have to, I i i I feel like I have to ask one of my friends who's like played this for like a hundred hours and see if he knows what exactly is going on. That enemy clipped right through you. It's not just the, uh, the, the, like the- There's no colliders. There are no colliders at all. Yeah, I don't know why. Huh. Yeah, look at that, you're totally- <laughs> Whatever, man, whatever. If you, if you want to ask me what, what in the hell I just did, I can't answer you. <laughs> To be fair, you're not really supposed to be fighting people right now, right? Like, aren't you just supposed to be running to a thing? Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, the, it, it, this thing put all these enemies over here for a reason yeah. for me to deal with. So, I mean, like, why not see if I can get some experience? Sure. And get try to understand the system because I had no clue what was going on. So, I mean, you can, you can switch between your gun and your knife. I don't exactly know what the full difference between the two is because I didn't really see a benefit to using the knife, considering I had a gun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And throughout the game, I, 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 from the trailers, I think this happens, but you, you expand your party at, at some yeah. point. Okay. Yeah, you do. And I mean, right now, in the, the current thing I'm playing, I have a third party member, but apparently I've heard there's like an absurd amount of party members you can actually have, but you can only have like three or four of them at the same time. Can they die permanently? I know that's a thing no. going on. No, okay. It's not that's a okay. thing going no. on just like, what, like just in general? I, I feel like there's a lot of games that, that, that start doing that now, yeah. Put it this way, I picked a fight at one point. Yeah, oh yeah, this is... Uh, oh boy. Oh. So are you gonna go for this F thing? Famous last words, Jordan. Oh famous no, last <laughs> words. Oh, this is gonna go real bad. Yeah, so later on I put a fight with something and it killed all my party. I ran away and when I got back to base, it basically, like, my party member just basically appeared out of nowhere fully healed. Nice. I don't think this is gonna go so well. Oh, uh, it's I'm just gonna get. I, I, I think you have little faith. Hmm. Oh, I, I, th I think he's gonna make it. I, I think our boy's gonna make it. Oh, what the hell? What? What? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what the? Yeah, and see, here's the thing. I did not see my health because it's so freaking small. And yeah, I totally died. <laughs> that was uh. legitimately surprising. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. Lesson learned. Don't don't mess with the wood, whatever that thing is. The wood larix. I don't know what to call it. Oh my! 
<laughs> One of the greatest tracks is, in that. What is this? This is, this is this Sonic is, music, I assume. This is uh, Sonic oh, Colors. Fast forward. <laughs> this is Sonic Colors. Uh, yeah. yeah. What happened? Yeah. Planet Wisp from Sonic Colors. Because this thing does remind me of Planet Wisp. It does. Yeah, this is where I thought like it fought, was gonna fight me again, but oh, it just it just pigs. And when when you sped it up like that, and, uh, oh, when you sped it up like that, and if you added like 300% saturation to the video, I think it could totally pass off for Planet Whiskey. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. So killed the pig. And yeah. So oh, so. Yeah, so uh, Oh no. <laughs> don't what? do it again. Don't, do don't provoke it. Why are you don't, doing this? Don't do it. Yeah, that's right. All right. Just, All right. It's, Good move. It, it's it's not doing anything to you. It's you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was tired of tempted to come just like, yeah, I can totally take him and then run away. <laughs> How much damage? Animals are uh these animals are pretty chill. Like they don't really care that you're here other than They don't even care if I'm fighting. killing the thing right beside them. I yeah. I love these space jumps that you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cool. I know. Yeah. Not many. Oh, oh, what does it say, little Swede? Yeah. All right. A boar with a tumor on it. Yeah. Well, apparently they all have tumors. Apparently it's just part of their biology. Is that and, is that a thing? Yeah. Like if you looked at the previous battles, like you'll see that um, they're, they're, like the part of them will just break off when you damage them enough, and then Elmo will say like it's weakened or whatever, and to right. go go for it. And uh, um, yeah, when there parts, there are parts of them that just break off uh, whenever they get damaged too much, and that tumor is basically it for the pigs. So that that's basically its weak point. Yeah. Okay. I think I think it broke. Oh no, it didn't. But whatever. That's pretty um, gruesome. Yeah. And yeah, but the only thing is, again, I did not realize like. The our health because it's just so small and insignificant compared to everything going on, and yeah. Oh, it's here you go. Break the tumor. Yeah, and on a big because playing this on a. <laughs> oh, you, you died again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like I like I don't know how to heal. It doesn't tell me, and I can't. And then you don't notice your health in the heat of battle a lot. So, like I said, it needs a UI overhaul. But uh, yeah, another run through the forest again. <laughs> <laughs> this one I don't. Why recognize. don't you just run to where you're supposed to go? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> Great. Yeah, this oh. the, the, that music's from uh, Zoids. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I, dug it. I dug it. I it, it. It reminds me of Zoids as well because like they're They're're all fight on the alien planet. And now there's a cutscene. Um, the one thing I, I will say about this game that bothers me later on is that the cutscenes are so stilted. I, I mean, maybe it's just because of language differences, but there'll be long pauses be be between people speaking where it gets becomes like really, really awkward. And I mean, like, I sort of understand that because I do have um, somewhat of a, of a hearing issue where sometimes I do have to wait a second to sort of register what exactly somebody said. I'm like, you know, even if I consider that, these people are pausing for way too long before they can figure out their next sentence. So mm. it can get really, really annoying because when they tour the city for you, like, it's just like, why are they taking so long to explain this simple thing and then over explain it? Yeah, that's, um, that's odd because that's something I found has really improved in video games over the years, you know? We, we've gotten away from the Sonic Adventure 2 battle of uh, characters unintentionally <laughs> talking over each other. Uh, so yeah, that, I, I, I chalked that up to just, you know, direction. Or yeah, yeah, but it, like, it, it, and I mean, it's actually not bad. That actually doesn't really seem to happen in the prologue. But oh my god, after the prologue, it just, I, the first, the next few hours are just rough because all it is is just stilted cutscenes with them explaining and over explaining things that sort of don't matter. And uh, yeah. But yeah, here are like sort of the boss creatures. They are these sort of gigantic dinosaur wolves. You're smoking these fools. Uh, can you? Yeah, it looks like you can target different parts of their bodies. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think you can. You just sort of attack until part of it breaks off. Oh, okay. But yeah, Elma told me to like patch her up because her health's low, and I have no clue how to do that. So I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing? Why don't you open the battle menu? 
Okay. Well, that that actually was the thing I was talking about, where like you can direct how they act. Right. But I was that I found that by accident because I was like, which I was just trying to like push buttons and see what happens, and that just popped up. I and I figured that out later what it, it actually did. But still, I, I, it gave me little context on what exactly they did. What happens if I don't know if this has happened to you yet? But what happens if your partner dies? Oh, well, well, yeah. Guess we'll find out. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, oh like, boy. like that, like that. Yeah, well, I tried to heal her or Phoenix down her or something, but I went by her and nothing happened. So I'm just like, okay, I guess I better, like, you know, yeah, run or do something. In most, most games, there's like an aggro. <laughs> in most games, there's an option. Like, when, when you get close to your uh, part, like your, your fallen partner, you can, like, pull down triangle or something and Yeah, uh, heal. and I was I was hoping for that, but, like, I went by her and I'm just like, well, what do I do? Like, here, I'm like, okay, can I do something? No, nothing happens. <laughs> Could you could you like lock on to her? No, I, I mean, see that QTE does not just do first attacks. I don't right. know what it does, and I have still I still don't know what it does. It sort of shows up randomly, and you have to hope to God that you end up hitting it at the right time. You know, at the same time, the, these I feel like those mechanics Ooh. sort of really help you. Oh, call. fatality! Yeah, and I just barely won that because I was about to die. Yeah. So I guess doing the exper getting experience of the other pigs was actually a good thing. Oh, Elma's totally fine now. She took it. She took it like a champ. Yeah, basically. Luckily, some So I, is she like fully healed now after yeah. the battle? Huh. Basically, because so there's one thing I do like though is like basically when you're out of the combat situation, your health just like refills in a snap. Hmm. So you you don't have to like you know deal with most RPG problems where you have to like potion yourself after like a really hard battle. Yeah, I hate having to do that. I feel like if you survive the battle, you should just automatically heal in pretty much every game. Yeah, like it, it doesn't happen instantaneously, but basically within five seconds, you're pretty much healed. Yeah, I just hate having to like, you go to a town, you buy 20 potions, and then you have to like, deal with how many potions you're gonna use on people and all of these sorts of things. And like, I just don't really find, I can understand why that interaction is there. And I yeah, just like, don't see, really like, find the health, like, Elmer's health <laughs> is totally healed, and so did mine. And that's like the first thing that, well, besides the pig that's actually gone to try and kill me. And I can't collect that little diamond thing while I'm in battle, apparently. Right. So, um, yeah, I just sort of ran because I was like, well, I've been through this song and dance before. I am not dying a third time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so this guy's level three. You probably take him. Yeah, I, that's what I thought about the level five. <laughs> I don't. That's, that's two what, levels higher. I don't even know what level one actually at. That's the thing. No, I think. Yeah, I was just going to ask. I don't really see it on your. I think uh, I remember you hunt. getting two points of it saying you went like you ranked up. So I'm going to guess that you're level three. I don't really know. Like, I, I I found out, like, I figured out, like, they're the menus you can figure out later to sort of see what level you are. But, I mean, it doesn't tell you on that little screen what level you're, that, not that little UI health bar, what level you are. It just sort of says, oh, you have this little health and you'll never notice it. So I don't know if they're going to say it soon in, like, a cutscene, but uh, where are we now? That's basically what's coming up next. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically going to be the end of it because we have only a few minutes left. Is it's going to just explain all the stuff in a really beautiful cutscene, which I is. I think everything in this game just looks cool. It I looks like the cool. way the guns strap on people's backs. I like the yeah. way the guns look. I like the mechs. The only problem I hate about the mechs is that like, a, like the mechs are cool, but apparently you have to spend like, like 40, 50 hours just working to become qualified to run one of the mechs. I think that's cool. I think it's cool that halfway through the game, you have this like sudden shift in scale. Yeah, and I think that's great too, but it's just like, you see it, 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 it there's so much of the scales like at the beginning of the game, I'm just like, I want to pilot one now. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like games not giving you what you want. My friend said that apparently one of the developers wanted um, the experience of getting a scale, well, that's what the mechs are called to uh, be like getting your own, like your first car. So you have to yeah. like actually do a licensing exam and all this that's other stuff. Cool. I oh, think yeah, that's, that's really neat. cool. And I insurance. like that a lot. I kind of want to play this game, but I also am like, 
playing through a hundred hour long game now, and I don't know if I'll be able to handle another one so soon. Yeah, yeah. these are big commitments. But this game yes. looks super cool, and I yeah. really... And, and that's one of the reasons I haven't been able to play this game, is because, like, if I want to play this game, I want to have, like, a few hours yeah. to myself doing this. Because, sure. yeah. and I mean, if I have, like, five minutes, then no. For a giant yeah, of course. Space. If you have five minutes, you play down well, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. This is just the expedition. This is the end. This is pretty much almost the end of our little commentary here the of the prologue of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I feel like you've uh, barely skimmed the surface here. Yeah, basically. It, it's a... It, uh, mm. call it new Los Angeles. Cue all the L.A. jokes. <laughs> like, uh, like, Man, like, that's cool. When I, when I heard it was dumb. like... I like Los, it. When I heard it was new Los Angeles, I'm like thinking, I wonder if like Americans are like making L.A. jokes like they do with Jersey jokes. It's like, oh, it looks just, it's like we modeled it just after, after LA. And that's like, oh, here are all the jokes about LA now. They, they've, this game has done a really good job to introducing you to this world. Though. And like, it just keeps on going with this cutscene in particular. Yeah. Um, I just wish that when it actually introduces you to the government and, in, and inner workings of an LA, it does it sm um, as smoothly. Because like I said, it does it in a whole bunch of really stilted cutscenes to introduce you to the city at, right after this. And mm. it bored me the it bored the hell out of me. Swallowed in a shroud of light. But yeah, this looks really, really cool. And when I saw this, my jaw kinda dropped because it's like, wow, this is really, really nice. It's just, is, is it's that just the, so anime, you know? Yeah. <laughs> is that the moon in the background? Yeah, but yeah. Huh. So, this is the end of our Xenoblade Chronicles X uh, commentary. This is the end of the prologue and first hour of the game. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, thanks for walking us through this, Jordan. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. And I this is the little wide shot that shows you that. This Ooh, late title card. <laughs> That's how you introduce your game. That's it, how you introduce your. It game. introduces this game wonderfully. Absolutely. Well, have fun playing with the uh, go, getting through the rest of the game, <laughs> and good luck finding the hours to do it. <laughs> oh man, I'm 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 trying to find those hours. I'm trust me. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody for uh, watching this commentary on the prologue of Xenoblade Chronicles X.